before we start, I do want to say one thing, and that is yes, this is going to be a weird ass video, so buckle up and get ready for the ride. Welcome to the game that makes you fall asleep after 20 minutes of playing, and that is the lawnmower game. What do you do in the lawnmower game, you may ask? Well, you drive around, you cut grass, and you get gas. Seems simple and easy, huh? Well, I also thought that. That was until this kid made me fall asleep, and I lost. This lawnmower sure is weird looking. I wonder what lawnmower this is supposed to be based off of. It looks like it could be a lawn tractor, but at the same time, it could also be a zero turn mower, or a mix of both. But by the way it turns, it's definitely not a zero turn mower. So it has to be a lawn tractor. This is definitely American made. It looks and feels like it. It runs and drives smooth. So smooth that the tires don't even look like they're turning. The steel body screams American made. It may look like plastic to the untrained eye, but that's just a plastic coating that they added for extra protection to protect it from the elements. I wouldn't expect anything less from a finely built and oiled up piece of American machinery. Listen to that motor purr. That motor purrs louder than a fat cat bathing in the sunlight. I do wonder what kind of motor this is though. It sounds like a 20 horsepower V-twin Intec engine, but I could be wrong. Now let's get this American made hovercraft over there and cut some grass, shall we? Looks like there's a big old plot of land that's just begging to be cut over here. Look how tall this grass is. It looks more like bushes. This grass is so tall that it can tickle Mitch's balls as he runs through it. But I wouldn't recommend letting a midget run through this grass. It's a little too dangerous. You never know what could be in there. Worst comes to worse, he'll get lost. And by the time you find him, it may just be a lifeless body with his pants down. Why is his pants down, you may ask? How if I know? But some shit probably went down. Well, now that we know that it's a long tractor and not a zero turn mower, gotta figure out what kind of brand of lawn tractor this is. Now it's one of four. It's either John Deere, Poland Pro, a Cub Cadet, or a Troy Bill. We'll go down the list until we figure it out, shall we? Maybe this lawn tractor is a John Deere. John Deere was founded in 1837 in Grand Detour, Illinois, by two men, Charles Deere and John Deere, on the good old USA. But I don't think this is a John Deere. I would have said this was a John Deere if this was before 2005, but ever since 2005, John Deere became a trader and moved most of their manufacturing in Mexico, where my cousin Pepito works. Since it's not a John Deere, this could be a Poland Pro, which is also an American-born company that was founded in 1946 in Shreveport, Louisiana, by Cloud Poland, where it started off as Poland Saw Co., where they first manufactured two-man chainsaws, but their buddy buddy with the Husqvarna Group, which is based in Sweden. But we can't have that with our strong American-made lawnmowers. So this is definitely not a Poland Pro. So since it's not a John Deere, nor a Poland Pro, this could be either a Cub Cadet or a Troy Built. Now, the Cub Cadet was founded in 1961, which at the time it was known as IH Cub Cadet. That was until it was sold and purchased by MTD Products Incorporated of Cleveland, Ohio. But Cub Cadet makes their lawn tractors in yellow so this can't be it. Wait, I don't know why I didn't think about this sooner. This tractor is red, so it could not be a John Deere nor a Poland Pro, since the John Deere comes in green, and the Poland Pro is black, while the Troy Built is red, so it has to be a Troy Built machine. Troy Built was founded in 1937, when C.W. Kelsey unveiled the first American-made rear tie and rototiller. Troy Built is now owned by MTD Products Incorporated, which, interestingly enough, also owns Cub Cadet, but as we now know, the Cub Cadet brand of lawn tractors comes in yellow, while the Troy Bill brand comes in red. But don't fact check me, cause I'm probably wrong. Well, now that we got our lawnmower facts out of the way, I do want to say one thing about this game, and that is that it's pretty darn hard. I played this game for a whole hour and 30 minutes, give or take a little bit, and I wasn't even halfway through the game yet. I tried really hard. To finish this game. I just couldn't do it. I ran out of gas. See I wanted to know whether or not this one map was the whole game. Or was this one map one of many. But I wasn't about to play this game for another 3 hours. Just to find out. 
This game right now is on sale on Steam for about 50 cents, which to me is all it's really worth. So if you want to cut grass and get gas while trying not to fall asleep, this is your game. Now, I know this video sounds like I'm in my room trying to make a video while trying not to wake up my parents, but you would want to be half right. I did tell you in the beginning that this video is going to be really weird, and if you made it this far, congratulations. Now you know more about lawn tractors than you probably ever really wanted to, so you at least got something out of it, right? Well, now I'll leave you with 15 minutes of a strong built American engine rumbling in your eardrums.